For the very first time tonight, owners of an animal rescue in Adams County are talking with us face to face. The Humane Society removed 166 animals from their property just last week. WLWT News Size Dan Griffin talked with one owner who says they can explain what happened. Dan. Yeah, Sheree, I want to warn you, some images in this story are graphic. In court today, the owners of Sugar Bear Animal Rescue in Adams County surrendered all but five of those 166 animals. They say they've been helping dogs and cats for 20 years, but no more. I have a soft heart also for the down and out, even this human beings too. For George Brock, there's an eerie silence at his property in Adams County, once home to 148 dogs and 18 cats. <laughs> Last week, all those animals were removed from Brock and Kitty Meyer's Sugar Bear Dog and Cat Rescue. The Humane Society workers who shot this video say the animals are in severe need of medical help. Back in uh, the end of September, the first part of October, and uh, and we give them, uh, we turned into the dog warden here, 17 dogs that we needed help with, and he said he would help. Brock says he loves dogs and cats, but a problem has grown. People dropping off animals weekly, even daily, and he says there was no help. A deputy dog warden in Adams County testified in court today. Other rescues were full. Still, Brock says he and Meyer could not turn the animals away. Traumatic at times. I mean, we work seven days a week, almost like 24 hours a day. <laughs> He says they used donated dog food and as many as 800 deer carcasses this year to feed the animals. He says they took each of them to the vet, but prosecutors showed photos of dogs and cats from the property they say were malnourished, injured, and infected. Investigators say at least one dog was found dead, its body still warm. It's a tough situation when you have that many for, for two people. Full time. Meyer and Brock say this is the end of Sugar Bear Dog and Cat Rescue. They hope, though, they'll be able to keep five dogs they say are their personal pets. Now, a judge ordered prosecutors to have the health department inspect Brock and Meyer's property to make sure it's livable for people and pets. After that, the couple may get back the five dogs. The other 161 animals are now on track for adoption. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.